Okay, today we're going to look at installing the Mini Hour 806 dash cam into a Jaguar XF with the minimum of fuss and the minimum of tools. So let's get started. So the Mini Hour 806 comes as a camera unit, a GPS screen mount and a number of shims and 3M adhesive pads to fix it to the screen or wherever else you feel. Where I'll be putting it is where you can see the sellotape which I've put there to indicate where I want the mount to be which is hidden from my view, the driver's view, by the wing mirror. The camera comes with a 3 meter USB micro to normal USB. So the intention is to wire the camera to the centre console and power it from the outlet in here. So uh, here we go. So firstly I want to get the plastic shroud off from behind the rear view mirror so we can run the cable up it and across the, the roof lining down the A pillar around the side and across underneath. Remove the shroud by putting your finger in the small opening at the top, pressing with your thumb and pulling with firm pressure. So I've stuck the GPS mount to the screen in the position I worked out previously where I wanted it to go. Now it's time to fit the cable. Okay, so the cable's now installed, runs inside the plastic shrouding and comes out of the small gap that's cut out at the top. Now we just feed it above the headlining there's no need for any prizing, it just pushes in across the screen to the A-pillar. Just tuck it in with a credit card just to be sure. And now it's time to get it round the A-pillar. Okay, I've just pushed it in the airbag cover here. And uh, I'll just push it in with the corner of a credit card. I'll need two hands to do this so I'll have to put the camera down. Right, so that bit's done. Pull it away with the fingernail. Push in, run it down. Just like that. Okay, next step. As this trim is a little bit difficult to get off down the side of the end of the dash, what I've decided to do is pop the cover off and run the cable behind it. So that should be simple. On the glove box, nails inside, a firm pull, and there we go. Simple. Okay, the next step is to get this uh, lining off from underneath the glove box. So that's just a case of slipping your fingers in. Pulling down. Two, three, there we go. That's the cable pushed in down the side and comes out at the bottom there. Just push it in all the way along. Okay, so the cable's at the end of the glove box and we just tuck it under the centre console shroud. So, now with the centre console what we need to do is get the uh, get this out so we can run the cable up. Okay, I'll admit I've previously just pulled this out so it can make life easier. So there we are, we can see in. And if we carry on tucking the cable along, carry on pushing it along. Push the cable underneath, and what do we see coming out? The end of the cable. Just pull that through, finish tucking it up. And also, you might see here, I've put a small slot in the plastic to accommodate the cable. 
if you've got one of those fancy camping knives with the saw that you never use, well, now's the time to use it. <laughs> okay, so uh, popped everything back in there. Get the USB cable. I'm going to try it from the USB socket. There we go. Hopefully that will give it enough power. Uh, camera's mounted. Uh, so we'll just now turn the ignition on. And we have power. There we go.